If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Co-authoring an Excel workbook in Excel for Microsoft 365 lets you quickly share and collaborate simultaneously on a workbook with others. To share workbook in Excel for Microsoft 365, open the workbook to share. Then click the Share button in the upper right corner of the ribbon to show a drop-down menu of sharing choices. Then select your desired sharing choice from the drop-down menu. To share with people you select, choose the Share command to open a Share pane. If you haven't yet saved the workbook online, then this pane lists the connected online OneDrive and SharePoint sites to which you can save the file. Click the desired choice to upload a copy of the workbook to that site. If needed, then type a name for the file into the workbook name pane that appears, and then click OK. After saving the workbook to an online location, then use the Share pane to choose the users to invite to co-author the workbook. The sharing settings for the workbook default to the sharing settings for the selected saved location configured by your Microsoft 365 administrator. To change the sharing settings if available, click the Sharing Settings button in the Share pane to show the Sharing Settings pane. Then click the Option button for the users with whom to share the link if available. Possible choices include anyone, people in your organization's name, people with existing access, or people you choose. To choose whether to allow editing access for most choices, click the Can Edit drop-down in the More Settings section of the pane and select Can Edit or Can View. You must allow editing access to let users co-author the document with you. Otherwise, they can only view the file. Optionally, to also block downloading if you select the Can View option, click the Block Download switch to enable it. After changing your link settings, click the Apply button to continue and return to the main Share pane again. Then start typing the user's or group's names or email addresses with whom to share the workbook into the Add a Name, Group, or Email field. Then select the names from the drop-down that appears to add them to the list. Continue doing this until you have added all the users with whom to share the workbook. To enter an optional message within the email, type it into the Add a Message field. To then email the invitations, click the Send button in the Share pane. Then click the X button in the upper right corner of the confirmation message box that appears to tell you the email is sent. Alternatively, to instead copy a sharing link to send to other users in emails or other kinds of messaging apps instead of sending an email, click the Copy Link button at the bottom of the Share pane. Then send the link to the recipients using whichever application you want. Alternatively, to send the link via your desktop Outlook application if available, click the Choose Another App to Share the Link In button in the Share pane and select Share in Outlook. Your desktop version of Outlook then opens and creates an email with the link you can send to the recipients. Alternatively, to share a non-collaborative copy of the workbook as an Excel workbook or PDF attachment via Outlook, Click the Choose Another App to Share the Link In button in the Share pane. Roll over the Send a Copy command, and then select either Excel Workbook or PDF from the side menu that appears. Your desktop version of Outlook then opens and attaches a copy of the shared workbook to an email using the file type you selected. You can then send this to the recipients as usual. Note that this is not a shared workbook, however, and they are simply being sent a copy of the workbook. To close the share pane when finished, 
click the X button in its upper right corner. After saving a workbook to a shared location, you can also click the Share button and choose one of the other commands that appears to share the workbook to. To copy a workbook link, select the Copy Link command. To copy a link to the current worksheet in the workbook, select the Link to this Sheet command. To collaborate on a shared Excel workbook if actively presenting during a meeting in Microsoft Teams, select the Work Together in Teams link. To stop sharing a workbook or change its sharing settings, click the Share button at the right end of the ribbon and then select the Manage Access command to open the Manage Access pane. To stop all sharing of the workbook, click the Stop Sharing link and then click the Stop Sharing button in the confirmation dialog box that opens. To instead share with more users, click the Share link and then repeat the sharing process again in the Share pane that opens. To view the people, groups, and sharing links for the workbook, click the People, Groups, or Links tab in the Manage Access pane as needed. To remove individual sharing links, or remove individuals from using a sharing link if you granted access to specific people, click the Links tab. To delete a sharing link, click the Remove Link button to the right of the link to remove, and then click the Remove button in the Confirmation dialog box to delete it. Alternatively, to delete a specific user from a previously shared link if sharing a link with specific people, click the drop-down next to the icons of the people below the link to show them in a list. Then click the X button to the right of the user to remove from using the link and confirm their removal by clicking the Remove button in the Confirmation dialog box. Optionally, to save a local copy of a shared workbook to your computer after you finish co-authoring it, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then select the Save a Copy command from the left side of the Backstage view to save a local copy in the area to the right. After confirming you saved the copy, you can then safely delete the shared file from its online location if needed. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.